Hello everybody, and welcome back to another first Look Mac tour on Gelsberg. Gelsberg? I have no idea how this map is pronounced. But I believe it's set in somewhere like, um, Western Europe. And, uh, <clears throat> I've completely forgotten the creator's name, so it'll probably be in the description. If I remember to put it in the description. But hopefully it will load quite fast. Uh, I've been sat here for a little bit, but uh, I've not been any further than this point. So it will all be completely new to you if you're watching or haven't seen another first look video on. I haven't seen another first look video on it. And uh, oh, I've also got the third person mod. Uh, hey, you can see my character. Anyway, we're not going to be using that too much today. So, <clears throat> first impression so far. I don't know why it's a bit laggy. Oh, hang on. Because I'm on a laptop. Um, for some reason, it's more smoother when it's on charging at the same time. But first impressions is uh, amazing. It's just breathtaking this first so far. Uh, I like I love maps with little narrow roads, not like big roads and stuff. I like more tighter maps, and this is definitely one of my favourites so far. Just so far. So we're gonna have a look in the house first. Uh, it seems. Oh, I can go in the kitchen. Pretty nice kitchen. I uh, wouldn't mind having this kitchen myself. My kitchen looks nothing like that actually. Uh, let's go in the living room. Um, what's on right now? Oh, the credits. Oh, it must have been something's finished. And, uh, some of these glasses are there. Vacuum cleaner! Close the door on myself. But I do love how it's which you can go inside. Ooh, it's an upstairs. And, uh, we've also got a vehicle area, actually. In fact, can I drive that? Can I? Nah, looks like just it's a map asset. Anyway, uh, might actually go back through here if we can. But there's a combine in here and a Vent 313 Vario, as well as a. Dropman, a uh, loading wagon. So let's go out through here. Uh, looks like there's a silage clamp here. Muck slurry spreader. I was about to say muck. Oh, muck spreader's down in the main yard. And uh, we're actually going to go around this area first, and then we're going to go across the road. But it looks like there's a lot to look at right now. So this looks. This area here looks to be, um, I would say, well, this barn particularly over here, and whichever animal this is, looks to be the cow um, house base barn. Yes, let's just quickly see. Yes, this is the cow. This belongs. Oh, slidey door like that. Uh, we've got a Massey Ferguson 5613 in here with the cedar sprayer, a mower and windrower as well in there. So I did also spot there's a fence in here, a fence tractor. I do like these puddles <clears throat> but especially that, that looks quite realistic. Uh, do these tracks actually have hours on? This one actually has some hours on. Very nice. Do like that. Uh, some more silage clamps. Uh, we've got field 56, which we do not own. Uh, field 45 over here, we do own, actually. Oh, nice area. So this is field 45. We do own this field. And let's just walk about. Uh, we'll go over here next. 
Oh, this is where we've already been. So we haven't been through here yet. So we've got a Strutman trailer. I do like that trailer, to be honest, because it's multi-purpose. Um, over here, we've got what is the neighbor's house, or something, or just a, another shed, or an old farmhouse. Anyway, let's head over to the other side, which is here. Uh, we're going to go through here. And I think we'll go go into this bit first. So this, looking on the map, I believe is the piggy area, the pigs area. Uh, nope, that's just a trigger. So this is where you keep your pigs. Uh, there's some more clamps there. So, oh, it's another cow area actually. Oh, I do remember something. I believe it. it I think it was this map. Uh, it has several uh, well, other animal areas, so it's got several different kinds of animals area. But this is more for indoors now. Uh, I believe there's a chicken area I haven't looked at yet. Um, here, would you say? Oh, this looks interesting. I want to see this. So let's just buy a couple of chickens. Found that and a rooster. Where are my chickies? <clears throat> oh, they walk around in this little bit. I thought they'd well walk around in the middle of the road, but no, they walk around in this very nice little area. They look pretty happy in there. Uh, this would probably be an area that I'd give my three chickens. I do own three chickens in real life. But they've got us, my whole garden to play around in. So anyway, um, let's actually have a look at the map. So we've got this little field, and uh, oh, I haven't looked in here. Is there a pickup anywhere? So let's have a look on the map. As you can see, it is quite a big map, and we are. Well, quite conveniently, right on the bottom edge. So we're actually going to plan out a route. I think we should go somewhere around here, so we get a look around here. <coughs> go up to this place, uh, which I believe is the BGA, actually. If Because that looks... Yeah, biogas, that seems to string to mind the BGA. Then we'll probably go along here. Then we might... Go up here, probably go up here. See that, uh, excuse me. Um, go into the town, have a look around here, and then probably finish about where field 59 is, or 55, I should say. <coughs> but I'm not sure where the sh shop's slap bang right in the centre. So we're actually going to have to teleport through all the vehicles. Okay. Um,. I'm going to take this tractor actually. Uh, so I'm just going to quickly turn everything to what I like. Uh, cow pasture. Cow pasture. Just go for one cow pasture. Uh, ten minutes on. Ah, uh, leave that off. Save game. Right then, so we're just going to have the front loader on for the sake of it, and also I like to have the front loader on. So, we'll just take the front loader for the sake of it, because I like having the front loader on. But this, tra this tractor, I think, really suits this farm. It's the perfect tractor for it. So we're actually going to go... Oh, my sound panel's disconnected again! That's the right one. Nope, that wasn't the right one. That was my wheel. Uh, sorry about this. Yay, it's come on. So I can make the mini back big. <coughs> so we're going to turn left at this junction. And then turn right 
<coughs> not right, left again, um, in a bit. So the next left is going to go down. But I'm loving this map already. It's just such a nice map to be up. Oh my, I'm really got to get used to these controls again. So I believe we're going down here. If I'm right, yep, yeah, we are. So, um, yeah. I'm going to keep the mini map open. So we're right on the edge of the map. So this map is just. It feels like, for some reason, for me, I would like to love to live here in real life. If this map was. Is this map based on something in real life? I don't read the description right. And my door's blown open again because I think I've left another door open and I can't go and close it. But anyway, um, uh, do you want to go down there? Uh, Where's that link around to? Yeah, we'll go down this path here. And then there should be a right turning. We'll go up there, which rejoins to this road. Which then we'll go up to the VGA for. What I think is the VGA. So, lovely forest here. Nice place to take your dog for a walk. I'll do a little bit of logging in. Ooh, and nice. So, right, let's try and think that. Okay, that bit down there goes to, to the bit there. That bit there is the way we're taking, and that way there is just the continuation of that road that we just went along. So, this is. We're gonna go along this road by here. And then go by here. So that joins the main road back there. But I want to go through the forest. I'm going to go on the little roads. But I haven't seen any traffic so far. It's probably because most of the roads are single track. Whoop, we're joining another road. Got this little narrow road. And we're going to go in here now. Which is not the beach. Okay? Well, it is actually, because I've just spotted it over here. Uh, let's see if we can fit through there. Uh, no, there's some bricks in the way. Or whatever that is. Um, a pile of something, and there's a wide fence. Crash into the bins. But this map kind of reminds me of Tyra Leon Alps as well. So, all maps in the mod contest should be like this. Uh, I did a first look tour on Greenwich Valley, and uh, it seems to be one of those maps. But, there's one big silage pit, uh, a thingy over there, the place where you sell the silage, and... Uh, a weight bridge here. Um, and then, yeah, that's pretty much it to show you around here. So we're going to head down this, back down this way. And then, well, we'll try and find a right turning. And the next right turning will take up, hopefully. And it should hopefully take us somewhere near the edge of the town so if there's a turning here yeah I'm gonna go up there gotta keep the mini map over so we're gonna go around the edge of field 19 lovely little map well quite a big map actually but I can't show you it at all but track isn't quite very good. I kind of think Peterville should be in the mod contest as well, but uh, it came out before the mod contest. Love these little add-ons, these little bits. So we're going to join this road. 
Uh, I'm going to get some huge height on the viewing. But most of the time you can just see trees! And I've crashed into something. I crashed into something. Nice little area over in that direction. I've crashed into another tree. Yes. Oh! I've teleported to another machine. Yes, I think I went back. I pressed a button which caused me to teleport. But, yeah, we're getting into some village territory. So, I'm going to be like an idiot probably to some of you. Now that is, we're going to go up that way, or down this way, because I want to loop round, and then I want to go up to where the fuel station and chicken and kid farm, I believe it is, up in the corner is, and then we're going to come back down to the town, uh, and look at all the things down in the town, and then... Um, finish off probably around where Field 59 is, which is right on the edge of the map. So this is another very nice forest. So it's basically farmland surrounded by woodland, which is, uh, well, one of some of my favourite sorts of maps. This map is definitely going to be rated five star from me. I can guarantee that pretty much. I will rate it five stars once I've done a bit of work on here. So I want to try out a few things. Yeah. But there is one thing I would like, which is along these sorts of tracks, I want it to be quite bumpy. Well, it probably is going to be quite bumpy because it's me behind the wheel. So I'm just going to keep the beacon on because I, it will annoy me if it's off. But, yeah. I love this map. Just, just that first thing, first um, even look at it, just said to me in the back of my mind, Rate it five stars. This is five stars. This map should be rated five stars. So I believe we've got to go up here and we'll join a main road. And then uh, I think there's a little path somewhere. Uh, well, just hang on. Yeah, we'll have to go pretty much where the town is. So we're going to just go alongside this field like a naughty person. Ooh, I wonder what these are for. Well, that looks interesting. Some sort of obstacle course? Nah, it can't be. But anyway, we're going to have a look around this yard here. So we can call this the top yard. Uh, I'm going to leave the engine on. So, this looks like a chicken area. Open this door. Or is it just this little area? Let's just have a look. Yep. Uh, oh, they've got this little area. So, this must be the pig area, then. So if I jump over this, um, if that's not the pig area, I'm wondering what that is for. Then this must be the pig area. Yeah, seems to be the pig area. So I'm wondering what that building is going to be for. I'd probably, if it was me, I'd probably just use it for storage. But there should be a fuel station around here. By here, I believe this looks to be a fuel station. And we're going to go down there now. Yeah, this is definitely the pig area. Right here, because there's water trough. 
I do like these water troughs going alongside the road where you can just drive down here. But anyway, um, yeah, this looks like it's going to be a massive slurry pit we're going to drive over. Very full, actually, so, sweet. So we're going to close this up. I'm going to close this back one up as well. And hop back in the tractor. So, this would be kind of a nice map to, like, visit in a roleplay video, maybe. I do need to get that, um, roll old stream farm roleplay back up and running hopefully within the next few days actually uh, there's nothing really interesting down here apart from a bunch of fields but there but yeah looks to be quite normal but down here this should we should be able to link up to the town So if we, yeah, there's traffic along this road, so it must be two lane way, two way road. So we're going to go down here, and we should go into the town. So we're actually going to pull into somewhere and uh, look around the town on foot. So some houses. I think we'll pull in here quickly and just pull over and look around here on foot. So this looks to be a cell point. Very good cell point. Um, looks there to be a lime station over there. That silo there. Can't open them doors. Um, Waybridge, I believe, here. Yeah, mate. Yeah, you gotta bring a trailer around here. Don't think stupid accent. Um, another cell point. Uh, we're gonna go over this direction first. Jump over this bit. Uh, I didn't see what this word is. Looks to be some sort of delivery area. So, wondering if some people's roofs. Parkour. Oh, so another storage area. Oh, this seems to be another yard, in fact. There should be a lime station around here, I believe, and another one. If I remember right, it's to be. Oh, it's probably a silo, actually. But, yeah. Cement mixer. The dreaded cement mixers. They always get in your way, though. To be honest, it's always the cement mixes you end up crashing into. If you've got some, or that end up crashing into you with something. So, pigs go here. Yep. Wonder what that is for. Pig food, probably. Yeah, I think this might be a pig food maker actually. We're actually going to go down where the shop is, so across this, this little field, this little area under here, hang on, I can't crouch, I can't crouch, let's just leave it, <clears throat> still can't crouch, I don't know why that is, but anyway, um, I don't really mind. Jump over the fence. This kind of actually reminds me of the valley of the old farm, actually. Or, sort of, because it, remi it reminds, in some way it says, this, this map's like the valley of the old farm. This looks to be the store, in fact. Yes, it is the store. And the animal dealer's literally right next door. So, quite a big area buying vehicles and the animal dealers by here by here so these open no probably hiding inside this is probably a milk cell point around there and some of sort of other cell point hmm. 
So, hang on, that might be the buy point. Ah, yes, that's the buy point. So, yeah, let's have a look over this place. Uh, must be another line station. Yeah, those kinds of doors don't open. Uh, more houses. And there should be a cell point somewhere. I believe through here. Maybe. Yes, indeed. So, actually, this is the sawmill. Hang on, if I click R again. So, yeah. Wood would go in there. And, uh be made into planks or whatever you make stuff out of wood with looks to be a sunflower field we're running through now but anyway we're gonna get back to the tractor and uh, head down to the rest of this road pull into the biogas Gellisberg Gellisberg and then end up around field 59 so this is a very fab nice map I, I've said that about a million times now, but I can't think of anything else to say, because it's such a great map. I really like it. I need somewhere to take the thumbnail shot. I'll probably take it back at the far farm. But I'm going to reverse out here. Put the hazard lights on. As the lights off, and off we go. So, yeah, let's go for a driver's eye actually. So, nice. Yes. Yeah, third person thing should have been added into the game. Uh, at first for base game but I don't know why it wasn't so uh, it's kind of one of those things which uh, somebody's actually made themselves I guess it was just kind of too hard to put in the game but I'm currently tailgating someone yep and I'm about to crash into that blue car I'm just gonna pull in here and I get out the tractor for some reason. <laughs> oh god, I don't know what I pressed. But I get out the tractor with when I press that. So, another BGA. Silas cell point. Large clamp and possibly an even larger clamp here. But quite a nice map for I'd say this map would be great for multiplayer as well. Um, yeah, because it's great for single player and multiplayer because you've got so many silage bits and it's pretty, me, pretty much well everywhere is available and uh, you can do silage easily on this map so we're going to end up just down here and uh, possibly end the probably end the video down here. Might just go down to field 55 for the sake. Now we won't have time because this video is nearly 30 minutes long, so we'll end by here actually. Oh, I'll take the thumbnail shot by down at the farm. So anyway, is the final cell point, which is by here, and there should be something else over here so this looks like to be the milk cell point should be filled there should be it's actually quite a good thing to do in farm simulator so i might do that actually at some point uh possibly on peterville but anyway yeah thank you all for watching hopefully you enjoyed the video uh i will leave a link to this map down below uh please like the video if you enjoyed uh, subscribe for more and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.